Hi, and thanks for watching again. Uh, before we get started, please like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos. Uh, but today we're going to be looking at trying out a new battery against a dying battery in uh, germanium fuzz. <laughs> Um, I've always wanted to try this. Um, I've heard a lot of musicians talk about how they enjoy the sound of a dying battery in a fuzz circuit. Um, and a lot of manufacturers actually add um, trim pots or um, external pots so you can sort of adjust the uh, voltage within the circuit to pseudo mimic a dying battery. Um, and so I've always wanted to see what it sounds like if there actually is a noticeable difference and so I have two batteries, um, one's new and one's pretty old and dying. Um, and we'll check out their voltages using the multimeter and then plug them into my homemade germanium fuzz and see if there is a tonal difference. Um, hope you enjoy the content and please let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, so we're back and taking a look at the pedal and the batteries here. Um, first thing we're going to do is uh, measure the voltage on each battery. We have a white one and a blue one. Um, the white one's going to be the old one. So let's get started with that. And let's see. 7.00 volts. Okay. And the blue one. 8.93 volts. Okay, so that's good. Um, just about 2 volts difference there. And so 7 volts for a 9 volt battery is a pretty good dying battery. So um, let's get started and uh, plug these in. Okay, so um, before we get started, I should probably talk about the pedal just a little bit. Um, this is a germanium fuzz that I made. And over here you can see a little switch that says FF and TB on it. And you probably can guess what it is. It's a fuzz face on the down position. And on the up position, it's a tone bender, a Mark II tone bender. The tone bender Mark II is kind of sort of a fuzz face with an added transistor gain stage in front of it. And so um, I first built this pedal just as a pure uh, fuzz face clone, but I wanted to play around with it a little bit further. And I did a bunch of things like add um, clipping diodes in it or stuff like that. And none of them really worked out that well. Um, and so I settled on uh, a little switch that adds a transistor gain stage in front of the fuzz face clone. Um, and so it's not strictly a uh, perfect tone bender clone. Think of it more as a fuzz face with an added uh, tone bender style um, transistor gain stage in front of it. But it sounds really good. It sounds very close to a tone bender as far as I know. I haven't, obviously haven't played an original one. Um, but let's start off. Oh, and then one thing. This is an input pot, which kind of acts sort of similar to the volume pot on your guitar. And so you can do more subtle cleanups with this instead of just going from really fuzzy straight to like chimey cleans. Um, so you can make it more into like a, su a subtle distortion or a cross between a distortion and a fuzz. But we're going to leave that maxed out for now. The fuzz is maxed out, um, the volume to taste. And let's start off with the fuzz face. So you'll notice that the fuzz is a lot more um, compressed and a little bit, I guess, dense might be a good word. Um, but obviously that's because of the added gain stage in front of the fuzz face circuit. With a fuzz face you normally get a really woolly tone um, which works great with single coil guitars and doesn't work all that great with humbuckers or P90s. Uh, a lot of people who use humbuckers prefer the tone bender as a fuzz. Um, and then anyway, so uh, today's comparison is about the battery. So let's go back to the fuzz face. Um, um, I won't be able to use a looper in this case because uh, a germanium fuzz wants to see the guitar directly. And to have anything in front of it 
um, totally ruins the tone. So we're going straight from the guitar into the pedal. And so I'm going to try to play the same phrase if I can remember what I played, but um, let's get started with that. Okay, um, and so let's try to see if there's a difference in the batteries um, with the cleanup of the fuzz face. And so for this, um, I'm going to go into the neck pickup, and what I like to do is just turn down the fuzz just a little bit. And this way, um, it gets really sparkly clean. So let's start off with the new battery. Okay, so um, I guess we should move on to the tone bender circuit. Um, let's see, something like that, and we'll go back to the bridge pickup. Okay, so that was uh, taking a look at two batteries um, in a germanium fuzz. I was actually quite surprised at how much of a difference it made. Um, obviously the newer battery had that thick, um, saturated fuzz sound that we know and expect. But um, the older battery also had this nice 
sort of almost like a distortion type uh, crunch tone to it, uh, which I kind of found uh, really pleasing. And it's probably why a lot of musicians um, like that dying battery sound in their fuzzes. Uh, but anyways, um, I'd love to hear what you guys think. And please uh, write down your comments in the comment section below. And as usual, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.